Hi guys, Brie here. Today I have a video reviewing my new bag, the padded cassette bag from Bottega Veneta. So first I think I'll just show you exactly how the bag looks. Here she is. Here's how it opens and how it looks inside. So a little introduction, I went into the Bottega store in Spain not expecting to buy this bag. Actually, I was expecting to buy the mini Arco or the small Arco and because in Spain the stores are open and you know you can actually go in store and shop unlike in Germany. I was really excited to actually see the bag myself and I did see the small Arco and I tried it on but I felt that it aged me a bit and my partner also said that it wasn't exactly you know a nice fit for my style I guess so I was just walking around the Bottega store looking at bags and I saw this bag and let me tell you I'm the last person to buy this padded cassette bag because it never appealed to me I have seen it online everywhere, on YouTube, on Instagram, you know, just on blogs also and it never really appealed to me because of the shape and, you know, the way that the weave and the padded leather looks just felt like a winter bag to me. Okay, now the sound is gone, I think. It felt like a winter bag to me because of the padded leather and the weaving and it never called to me. I was never really interested in it. I would look at it sometimes on the website and then it, I just never even thought about pulling the trigger until I saw it in person. And this bag is so nice. First of all, this color is in fondant. It's a very dark brown with, I would say, a very slight purple undertone, if you can see. In certain lights, especially in the sunlight, it looks more brown, more chocolatey brown. Indoors, it looks a lot more dark, almost black, with a bit of a brown. And the sales associate told me that there were only two of this color in Spain, which, of course, it's a technique for him to sell the bag to me. And you know what? It worked. So props to him. I <laughs> spent an unexpected 2,500 euros. But I don't regret it one bit. I think it's so nice. I'm very happy with it. To get into the technical specifications of this bag, that was a very difficult word to say for me right now. The height of this bag here is 18 centimeters. The depth of the bag is 8 centimeters. And the width of the bag is 26 centimeters. So it is very similar to my small puzzle, which I've reviewed before on this channel. If you're interested, please check it out. Here they are side by side. You can see they are basically the same in terms of size. But I can tell you the way that things fit inside these two bags are very different. They're in the same pr price range and they are both very understated bags with no logos everywhere. You know, they're made very well, but they are understated. So if you want to review uh, comparing the two and what fits inside, just let me know in the comments and I would be so happy to do that for you. So in terms of hardware, there is very minimal hardware. Here is the signature triangle motif that Bottega uses very often. And on the hardware there is only one area where there is a logo here. The hardware is a brushed gold hardware, so it is very resistant to wear and tear I would say. Because of the texture that it already has from the beginning, if you can see. And this strap has, I think, five adjustable holes, and I have it on the second to shortest. So let's get into the quality of this bag. So this bag is made out of 100% lamb leather, and the interior of this bag is also lamb leather. There is no interior lining, as you can see. So you have to be quite careful about what you put in this bag. It is not a carefree bag like this puzzle bag is. This one, for me at least, it's a very carefree bag. I can just grab it and go. I don't have to worry about getting scratches or anything because of the leather being very grained and very resistant to wear and tear. 
and the interior is lined with cotton. So that also helps with the carefree kind of way to wear that bag. This bag is not like that. It is very prone to dents and scratches. But the good thing is because the leather is so plush and soft, you can kind of rub out any small surface scratches like this. But it does get dense quite easily. For example, when I was driving back from Barcelona to Germany, I stored the bag like this. And there was a dent from the hardware right here. I was able to rub it out, no problem. But just so you know, it is very easy to dent this bag. Now, in terms of the hardware here, this is the clasp. And you can see there is stamping Bottega Veneta here. And here is the button. I still have the protective sticker on it here. And how you open and close it is you just fit the button over and lock it in like that. Oh, like that. And to open it, you pull the top flap down like that. And I have to say one con about that. It is quite difficult to open the bag one-handed. You would need one hand supporting the body of the bag just so you can pull the flap down and unlock it. That's what I've noticed. I've had this bag for less than one week, but that's what I've noticed. It hasn't bothered me too much, especially because I'm not constantly going in and out of my bag. I usually have my phone in my pocket and in my bag, I would have my wallet, a uh, small pouch, perfume, something like that. And in the interior, there is one flap pocket here. If you can see, yep. And one zippered pocket here. And like I said, the interior is the exact same as the outside. So you have to be quite careful. So I think for this bag, I really recommend putting everything in small pouches. And, you know, having a wallet that doesn't have many metal parts because this bag is quite delicate, especially inside. When you wear the bag itself, I haven't noticed any scratches from that. If you can see, I've worn it quite a few times and there's no, no scratches from, the, from just wearing it. So my concern would be mostly the interior. Do not put your keys in there just all loose willy-nilly because it will definitely scratch the inside of this bag. So let's get into what fits inside this bag very quickly. I would always have my small wallet. This is the Louis Vuitton Zippy Coin Purse. And I would put it in here like that. This is a perfume atomizer. I just got it from Amazon. It's really great. And a pouch. This has, you know, painkillers, candy, lip balm. And my new phone. I recently changed my phone from an iPhone XS to the 12 mini. And guys, if you are into bags and you have a lot of big bags and small bags, the mini is the way to go. I don't even feel like it's small anymore. After one day of using it, I'm already so used to this size and it fits into every bag with no problem. Like I put it in right now vertically and it fits perfectly. See? With these things, I would say the bag is pretty much full. Any more than that, and I would struggle to open and close the bag when I'm on the go. So here's the bag closed with things inside. As you can see, it does look a lot more full than when it was empty, obviously. <laughs> and I'll show you how it looks on me now. So here it is crossbody. And behind. And just over the shoulder like this. On the Bottega site, they also show that you can carry it as a clutch. Now, I have things inside, so I'm not going to stuff my strap inside. But let me just show you how it would look as a clutch. So, like this. If you're going to a dinner... Oops. 
if you're going to dinner, not carrying very much stuff, that would be really cute. And I discovered one more way you can wear this bag, and it's as a shoulder bag, like a short shoulder bag, and as a handbag. So what you're going to do is you're going to pull the strap through the flap like that, and then cross it here, and then pull the strap through once more. Close the bag, and you've got a hand carry, or over the shoulder like that. And I think it's really cute, especially for photos, if you want to carry it by hand or over the shoulder, that would be great. But it's not the most practical way to carry the bag, of course, because the straps are here. I probably will be carrying the bag as a crossbody bag most of the time. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope it helped you in some way. I really recommend this bag, especially as someone who was never into the padded cassette. I'm so happy with it and I'm very happy with my current bag collection with this edition. Like this video if you enjoyed it. If you didn't enjoy it, don't worry about it. Don't like it. It's fine. So thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.